Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. We have a patient we've seen before. Yeah, he gets quite a bit of blackheads on the nose here. And he gets some milia too around the eyes that we're going to get out for him. Um, but these, you know, big clogged pores here, you can see those blackheads. We're going to pop those out for him today. He doesn't have a ton of them, but they get pretty filled up and those can cause him itchiness or sometimes be painful. So we're going to pop those out. Might make him sneeze a little, but we'll get him taken care of here. So you can really see when we kind of turn the light here. Sometimes my light's too bright right there. You can kind of see how many we got in that area. So that's good. We have him prepped and ready here. I just opened up a couple of the milia and some of these pores. So we're going to do a little bit of squeezing here to get these cleared out for him. Hand squeeze kind of works better on the tip of the nose sometimes. He is pretty tough because we've done this before for him. That's good. We'll go on the edge here, just like that. Right here, he's got some deeper ones. Good. And you'll see these bumps just start to go away. Good. Just a finger pad squeeze. Not too bad as long as you've opened the pores there. So this here, we're gonna get a couple as we come across here. Sometimes my light, I know, can cause it to focus funny. Just let me know. See if we can on some of these. It's hard. On this so spongy on the nose to use the Q-tips there. Yeah, I'm going to go back to my finger squeezing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was a long one for sure. Is it getting blurry? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. There we go. This one here. That's a good one. Yeah, he's got big pores. <laughs> They're filled up here. They're shrinking down. Once we clear them out, you just don't see them. They're not as prominent, which is good. Quite a bit in there. He can really tolerate a good squeeze too. Looking way better already. We do come down here for him because he gets a lot. Okay, so we'll come down here and usually just do a squeeze on the side and we'll get some of those out. Come in right there, a little squeeze. Just kind of rolling those out. Make sure eyes water a little. Good. That looks great. Here you go. Yeah, you can dab if you need to. <laughs> Make sure eyes water. Thank you. Yeah. Get that little guy. Get a little stringer out of there. Get these big waxy plugs there. all the way down perfect okay so we're going to turn over this way just making sure we're rechecking these pores at the top or at the very bottom there you'll see i always come back and recheck do a nice deep squeeze there's some right there and good popped right up at the camera. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> it's got like a little bit of oil that popped out. That's good right here. Very nice. It's 
very rewarding to get the nose clear. <laughs> doing pretty well I mean we could go three to four weeks he doesn't have a ton so this should clear him pretty well but we can definitely do another check for him just to check on it this right, this right yeah it's good thank you let me come down here and just get this for him here. And these are just little plugs. You can roll those. That's good. You can also take an extractor and scrape the skin, but a nice pinch squeeze does a pretty good job getting those out of there, smoothing out those little bumps here. Finger pads are very effective because they're soft and you can really get a good deep squeeze in this side. There is cartilage, so you don't want to squeeze too hard, but a nice medium squeeze and you can see how you can really clear out those pores. Very nice. It's like a garden. He's been growing. <laughs> Got a lot. Keratin garden. Come up here. left up there. We already hit that spot. So we always pull the skin here. I know those are hard to get because my gloves in the way. Mm -hmm. Doing great. <laughs> okay. So when we pull that skin we can really see those bumps. You can see the, the pores accentuated. The retinoid will tighten those up. So little just one right here. I want to get the top. Got it. We'll stay over here though. Now I'm going to use the Q tips and we'll come down, just get a couple of these large ones there, a couple on the forehead, and we're almost done here. Nice little plug there. Another one. Ooh, that one popped, I think, on the screen. <laughs> you might have seen that. Sure we got it. bottom of the pore looks good. Okay, you can see how we did that. It's looking great. And we'll come back on this side, have them turn. So we had a couple large milia here. I did a little cut on them. Those you can usually roll right out. Let me see those. That little ball just kind of rolls to the surface. That's good. Sometimes you really got to pull out like there's a little sack underneath there. There it is. That's a little sack. Got that. And that looks good. And he did have another one down here. the cheek and then a couple there's a pimple right here good there very focused pressure let me wipe that here I think this has an ingrown hair in it there we go nice little bulb comes out there you can see with the hair at the bottom those, those are good to get out and just a couple blackheads here it's a good black hair right on the forehead there overstayed his welcome he's gone 
turn a little bit this way. I did have a hair wrap there earlier. <laughs> nice little plug, another plug. Work our way down the line here. There. Little hairs in there you see too. Come back that way just a little. I see one more right here. Poetry. <laughs> that looks great. Okay, so I do see two milia that are big enough. One, two. We're going to get just those couple right there. These little teeny ones, we got to wait till they get a little bigger. They're hard to grab. Take the tip of a blade, make that little cut on that sh thin sheath of skin. That looks great. And then get two new sticks and we roll them right out. There you go. Smaller ones could be a little tougher just because you really got to get under them and roll it. But you see that little ball comes out. Got it. Good. Now you see there? Nice and clear. There was one more there I did want to get. We look right down here. He's very clear here too. Sometimes I'll take this and just go right in there. I'm not getting much there. So... Um, one last milia here. Good. Simple little ball there. So um, he did great. We have cleaned him out before. I do like to come back. Yeah, see, just if you go back and just kind of hit some of these rows here, you'll find one in between there that maybe you didn't see. That was, when you pull that skin though, you can usually see most of them are cleared out. Right there, here, and I always say the nose squeeze makes you feel like you accomplished something because it looks so different from before and after. There's one, and right there, that was the in-between zone, right in between the tip and over here where we were squeezing, so can really stretch that skin to see if there's any pores that are still clogged and not any. That looks great. So that's it. He did really well. That was a lot of, the nose is very sensitive. So thanks to him for sharing. Um, the nose is, you know, can, can fill up quickly. There's a lot of oil in that area. And we've had him pretty clear, but his retinoid was a little strong, was irritating him. So he wasn't using it, using it as often. And that's why it's important to do follow-ups to see, always check in, you know, hey, how's it going? Are you dry? Are you too oily? And you adjust dosage. And that's how that adjustment to get them to, get them to where they, they're at in the right dose and strength for them is how you stabilize acne. So having that communication, going back and forth, cleaning out if he filled up again, getting him now on the right, a little bit lower strength, and it should hold for quite some time. A couple extractions a year kind of just to do cleanup, but usually that works a lot better. So thanks for popping by. That was great. And those pops are always fun because you can see that before and after directly right in front of you. <laughs> so have a good one. Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. If you like what you just saw, make sure to pop all the buttons. See you soon.